there's a lot of focus on what is an ontology, what is a vocabulary, and how can we use it. Um, you know, when we talk about ontologies, they're, they're the semantic models that that help connect your data across your enterprise. Um, and you know, you can't really do that without some sort of system that's based on semantic concepts, where you're encoding the the meaning of the data into the model itself. Um, and something that's built on open standards that's going to provide the interoperability you need to scale this truly across your enterprise. Um, and then bringing in things like, like SCOS and taxonomy and vocabulary management in order to you know, manage that reference data that helps to stitch you know, those different data sets together from different systems. Um, but the other big piece uh, that's a big focus for us um, is the collaborative editing and the, the verging and the management. Um, when you have very disparate distributed data, like you do in a large enterprise, um, you're going to have distributed and disparate expertise um, in that data, uh, different backgrounds, people, engineers, business leaders um, that have different understanding of the data and how it fits together. And ontologies help you to um, understand that, bring it together in a way that's sensible, and then apply it, operationalize it on your linked data um, in a way where you can make better decisions um, uh, across your, your use cases. Uh, yeah, so the, the automation um, and the, you know, the automated extraction is extremely important. Um, I mean, it's, it's important because you need to be able to, to scale out and scale up your data integration, um, your, your, your relationship building between systems. Um, and without the automation, you're not going to be able to do that uh, in, in a way that um, uh, scales to large enterprise problems. Um, you know, some other some other aspects or capabilities of graph platforms, um, you know, they need to be able to support for ontology management is, is collaborative editing, um, you know, data governance and publishing. And I think, you know, our approach to those things is rather unique. Um, and you need to be able to manage these versions and, and, and publish these artifacts in a way that supports very fast search um, and also access through standard APIs, industry standard APIs. Uh, it's not just the APIs, but also just the open standards for the data uh, itself, which we certainly support, which some other graph platforms don't support. Um, but you need to do, be able to do this all while operating at scale. Why is it important to have a really a full feature knowledge graph, you know, ontology management solution? versus just something like an ontology editor. Um, and when we talk about ontology development, uh, it reminds me a lot of software development. So, you know, you can write, you can write code in Notepad, um, you know, but how do you operationalize that? How do you, how do you test it? You need to validate it. You need to, to deploy it um, and, and use it um, in, in your environment and other environments. Um, and so you need a, a, an ontology management platform that supports all of those things, provides those capabilities, um, but also allows you to, to use the ontology uh, in, in valuable ways. And, and we think that, you know, ontologies are, are best operationalized as part of large scale knowledge graphs or, or data fabrics. Um, and that's what really enables the large scale data integration, the interoperability and, and the analytics and really the, the improved decision making that, that are gonna transform your business. When you're working with enterprise solutions, your problems are inherently large and distributed across a variety of data sources and legacy systems um, and, and disparate teams. Um, so when you're building ontologies and vocabularies, uh, you need to be able to connect those systems uh, or connect to those systems, uh, things like data lakes and databases um, or even files and allow users to flexibly and automatically extract semantic concepts from those systems. Um, and this process uh, inherently requires a scalable knowledge graph in order to effectively manage the complex relationships between uh, these systems. Um, you then need to be able to iteratively harmonize um, this data into a common format, like web, ontology language, or SCOS. Um, and this is a collaborative process since you're working with many different people with different skills, um, backgrounds and expertise. Um, after that harmonization, many ontology editors can take over. We're using open standards, so there's no problem with that. 
Um, it just so happens that you can seamlessly manage these artifacts uh, within the platform using uh, the Enzo Vocabulary Manager.